This mystic armor not only looks incredible, but it also doesn't allow you to take damage via hearts. Instead, it replaces the damage you would normally lose in hearts and takes your rupees instead. And this amazing armor can only be found in one place, and that's Colton's shop. In order to get this armor, you have to have what are called bubble gems. These bubble gems are obtained from bubble frogs. Odds are you've already seen one of these bubble frogs if you've explored a cave, but how do you use these bubble gems to get this armor? Everything starts with Kilton. You may remember him from selling awesome armor like the Dark Leak armor in Breath of the Wild. You get a side quest from him at the Woodland Stables and Pike Pond. This is northeast of Lookout Landing. As you talk with Kilton, you find out that his old brother Colton is obsessed with becoming a Satori, a super cool horse type creature that was originally introduced in Breath of the Wild as a nod to Satoru Iwata, former CEO of Nintendo who passed away in 2015. Colton has just come out of a cave looking for bubble gems. This is because he read in an ancient text that he can actually become a Satori if he eats bubble bubble gems. Ultimately, Colton asks if you have one, and if you do, you'll give it to him, but it doesn't do what he thinks it should. Because of this, he starts a quest to get more bubble gems, thinking that if he eats more bubble gems, he'll be one step closer to becoming a Satori. Colton leaves, but luckily, Kilton says he will help you find Colton again if you meet him at Terrytown. Terrytown is located on the east side of Hyrule between Akala and Lanayru, but you do have to come here at nighttime after 9 p.m. to find him. As you talk to Kilton, you will then see Colton off in the distance right near Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower. You can teleport to this tower to get you closer to Colton. If you do not have all the towers in this game, I have a video I will throw up right here that you guys can click on. That way you can find all 15. When you talk to him for the first time, you can see this glorious mystic armor at the top of his shop, and he even points it out to you. But it's a little ways off from the first time you talk to him. So the way this works is pretty simple. You get bubble gems, exchange them to Colton, and then he gives you gear or monster parts in return. And obviously the mystic armor is not the first piece of armor you get. You do have to work for it. You can see what piece of armor or monster parts you will get next by looking at what is setting outside of his shop right here. He'll tell you how many bubble gems he needs in order for him to give you something. And then you'll give him that many and then you'll get that piece of armor that he has sitting outside of his shop. And the path to this mystic armor is not easy. There are a lot of bubble gems you will need in order to get this. It is an absolute grind, I promise. I do have a great tip for how to get more bubble gems and that is to go to the eight cherry blossom trees scattered around Hyrule put a fruit in front of them, and then when you do that, a Satori will pop up. Colton will be proud. The Satori will light up blue pillars all around the surrounding area of Hyrule, and what these blue pillars do is mark the surrounding caves so that you can see where the caves are. These blue pillars last around two to three in-game days, so note that they do not last forever, but you can always put another fruit in later on. If you have not found a bubble frog in a cave yet, but have explored it, that little cave icon will not have a check mark. If you have killed the bubble frog and obtained the bubble gem from that cave, you will see a check mark on the small cave icon. There is only one bubble frog per cave and they do not respawn ever. So once you have completed the cave by getting the bubble gem, it will remain complete forever. If you want to watch my full video on how to get more bubble gems and know exactly where all of these cherry blossom trees are, check out my video that I'll be linking in the description. And it is a lot of work to get these, but luckily I do have a list that tells you exactly what you will get from Colton each time when you exchange your bubble gems so that you will know how close you are. The list of items you get will go as follows. Obviously the first one you give him during the initial start of the side quest, you'll give one and get a bow goblin mask. After that, two more bubble gems, you'll get a moblin mask, three more more bubble gems and you'll get three Hinox toenails. After that, give him three more and you'll get the torso part of the mystic gear. Three more bubble gems and you'll get eight fire keys eyeballs. Three more and you'll get a Lizalfos mask. Another three and you get eight ice breath Lizalfos tails. Now it goes up to four bubble gems and when you give him four, you'll get the second set of mystic armor, the mystic trousers. Another four and you get a white mane Lionel mace horn. Four more and you get a horriblin mask. Another four and you get two Gleok wings. Four more and you get a Lionel mask. Four more, you get three Gleok thunder horns and after that you have to give him five bubble gems and you get the final piece of mystic armor the mystic headpiece that is a whopping total of 47 bubble gems you'll need to get in order to get the full mystic armor set combine all of this mystic armor to look awesome but make sure you have a lot of rupees and you will be invincible sort of if you do have enough rupees you will not take any damage via hearts whenever you fight something but as soon as you run out of rupees, you will start losing hearts. Also note that you will still lose hearts for things like fall damage. It does not make you invincible for that. You guys, be sure to check out my other Tears of the Kingdom videos right here. Subscribe if you haven't already. You all have an amazing day and God bless.